What's up guys, David here. Today I'm going to show you how to put components in your house. Now a component can be really be anything. It can be a toilet, it can be chairs, it can be sofas, it can be trees, really anything. Now to do this all you have to do is click on component and then in your properties box you're gonna see a bunch of different things that are already preloaded. So I'm just gonna show you a few of them. Maybe I want a sofa, so you click sofa and then zoom in and you just put this wherever you want it. So maybe I want one here, and then there's different sizes. I'll put a smaller one here. And then also, maybe I want a dining table in here. And I will also put a toilet in my bathroom here. And there's just a whole bunch of different things that you can play around with. And to flip them around like I was doing, all you do is click the space bar. Now, there's also a ton more components that can be loaded, plus ones you can download off a website such as Revit City. That's the site I use. I'll have a link to that in the, in the description. But also, you can load the ones that you have created in Revit by yourself. Now, to do this, you got to be under Component, and then click Load Family. Now you're going to see a bunch of different files here, and they all have different stuff in them, so I will show you this. Um, let's see. I'll just go under Furniture here, double click, and as you can see it's got a bunch of different stuff. And actually they have a TV here, so I'm going to double click that. And now as you can see, I have a TV. I'll just place that there. Now I'll load something else here too. I think uh, we'll load some trees. So that's under planting. And then here's a bunch of different types of trees. So this is going to be a cabin feel. So maybe a northern part of the United States feel. Like Alaska or something. So let's just try some of these pine trees and such. So now here's all my different trees here. I can pick from. Let's try a yellow pine. 90 feet. These are big trees. And you just kind of place them everywhere. And I will show you this in 3D. Now you can see I have my big trees there. Now this also works for doors and windows, but the only thing is you have to be under the door section to load a door and under the window section to load a window. So I'm going to show you that now. I'm going to click Load Family and then Doors. And I'll just find one here that I like. Um, maybe one of these glass glass ones. I'll try this one. Open. Now as you can see, it loaded that glass. I'll just put a door here so I can show you that it works. And see now we have a different amount of doors that we can look through. And then Windows is the same thing. Click Window. Load Family and then scroll all the way down to windows and then here's a bunch of different windows you can choose from let's just go with one of these circle ones I'll just put that right there now I'm going to show you how to download a component off the internet and load it into Revit so I have a web page loaded up here Revit City and for this website all you do is click on downloads and then right here under keywords you can search for anything so I'm just gonna search for something basic like a chair click return and then now here's a bunch of different chairs that they have loaded to the site so right here you can see the product version of Revit that you need to load it so this one's 2012 2011 this one's unknown and you get the idea so I'm just gonna find one here um, I'll try this one right here then you click download now just as you would for any other file it's going to download here now you go back to Revit you go to component load family and then you just want to find it wherever you saved it to and mine's right here then you want to click open and now as you can see you can place that anywhere and now you have a chair that you downloaded off the internet that's all for this video 
If this video helped you out, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out. Please subscribe for more. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.